Uh, you, you pulled the thin one a couple times, just couldn't seem to get over that hump. Why, why do you think this couldn't get over that hump? Well, I think there's, you know, there's two things. Uh, uh, both times when we got it to one point, we gave up layups right at the basket. And um, I, the one thing that I challenged our guys on, because I told them come into this game, we had great preparation. Um, we didn't have good preparation going to Valpo, I told you that. And we didn't have good practices, we didn't have good preparation, our guys didn't have good energy. We had everything coming in this game was all thumbs up. And so I told them, I said, so if we've had great preparation, we feel like we've got a good game plan. The last thing is our mindset and our focus. And we had two timeouts tonight in which we drew up two specific plays, one of them actually at the end of the ball game, and neither one of them did, with initials on the board telling them, pointing them where to go, and we lost our focus. <clears throat> Defensively, we lost our focus on two scout report things, and they were specific on what we talked about, and we just didn't execute. And uh, it, when, when a game's tight, Todd, you just – Guys are thinking offense, and that's not the way. You, it's got to be the other way. If we just get a stop, we'll get a chance. And you can't trade baskets, and that's what we did. And, and give them credit. They did a good job. But um, at least we – this was so much better than the feeling that I had when we went to Valpo because we were never in the game at Valpo. And tonight, even at halftime, I did not feel bad. I didn't feel bad at halftime. I, I thought uh, it's the first time this year – that we played selfish, and I told them that. And our guards were extremely selfish in the first half. Uh, they were three for three for sixteen, I think, from the field in the first half, and our bigs were six for eleven. And they, our guards were selfish. So I knew we went in at halftime. We just said, if we'll do this, we'll put ourselves in a position to win the ball game. And at least they did that for the most part. Brian said that you took him out of a lot of. Uh, their offense, they wanted to run the second half. Do you know what in particular he's referring to there? Just... We made an adjustment, yeah. yeah. We made an adjustment on something that they'd really been bothering us on. Uh, I don't want to expand on it. Okay. You felt it was successful though, for the most part. Yes. No I mean, when you look at the, 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 the numbers in the second half from the three. Let me just say from the three. Uh, but, uh, uh, I mean, Brian shot 57% in the second half. He shot 40 in the first half. So um, we may have created a few turnovers, but we we didn't we didn't guard him well. How much did Dante Thompson's quickness bother Pippen, but bother your, your bigs today? I don't. You know, I got asked it on the radio. Pippen wasn't on Thomas that much. I mean, he was, it was it was somebody else's responsibility on Thomas. He ended up on him a few times, but uh, obviously there at the end, ooh, that was you know. He was on him because of the substitution, but uh, for the most part, that, uh, he didn't guard Thomas most of the game. And uh, but his quickness bothered him certainly. Did you like what you saw out of Pippen? At least, you yeah, know, I thought yeah. he took better yes, shots. Yes, over yes, the yes. I, I just that helped us a ton. It was a point of emphasis. We told him if he didn't get a certain amount of rebounds, he'd have to sit over there for the rest of the game. He got nine rebounds, eight more than what he had at Valpo. He out rebounded a dead man at Valpo by one. I've used that line a few times. Okay, guys, thanks.